Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to emulate NES games but in widescreen on your Windows 10 or Mac computer. So I found it this kind of cool project and it was for Game Boy games, um, but it wasn't available for Windows yet. So I had a look and I found out they actually made an NES version as well. So when the Windows version comes out for Game Boy, I will go ahead and make that as well. But this is pretty much what it looks like. So you can do vertical or you can do landscape and it pretty much turns your game into a widescreen game. So like they have Mario here, you can can also see the scenery before you come into it. I will pretty much be setting up this emulator and showing you guys what it looks like and I'll show you guys how to set it up as well. So um, right now it works best with The Legends of Zelda, Metroid and Super Mario Bros. Um, I will be trying another ROM to see what happens but I'm pretty sure it will just be a glitchy mess but it will be interesting to see anyway. So if you guys want to read a bit of information about this I will leave this website in the description you can scroll through. They've put loads of information on here as to how they got it working and everything like that. But if you just want to go ahead and download the emulator there will be a link to their github in the description as well made by daniel5151 so what we want to do is scroll down all we have to do is just click on the nse is that if that's how you pronounce it um zip file so we're just going to click on this this is for the windows if you have mac os you can go ahead and get this zip file as well so once we've got this we want to go ahead and go to our downloads folder and just find wherever we downloaded it so as you can see here is mine once we find our zip file right click and just select extract to anse um, um, dot win or whatever so just right click that and it will put it into a nice file folder for you we can then just go ahead and delete the zip file we don't need this anymore and as you can see i've got three realms i've got zelda monster in my pocket this is a random game i just want to test out see what happens and i've also got super mario bros so we can get our roms and we can just drag and drop them inside of the folder you can put them in a roms folder or you can just leave them on the root it's entirely up to you um, but what we actually want to do is get the exe file so the anese.exe right click and you actually want to just click create shortcut now we need to create a shortcut because we need to edit the wideness version so right click on this go to properties now this is what we want to enter i also have the controls for the emulator right here so if you want to pause and take a look at all these controls um, it's pretty much just like keyboard controls but we need to enter in this code so it's dash dash wideness so i'm just going to copy this now we're looking for target and um, go to the end of target where it has the dot exe press space on the keyboard and then we want to enter in this code so I'm just going to paste this in right that it's just going to look like this dash dash wideness you can just go ahead and type that in and once we've got that click apply click on OK if you get an error it's because you didn't type it in right or you haven't left the space so now we can click on OK and we can find our game we want to chest out so let's test out Super Mario Bros get the ROM drag it and just drop it onto the shortcut so it's just going to open like this and pretty much what we can do we can use the mouse scroll wheel and we can pretty much just drag this wherever we want but we can use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out and we can actually play it so as you can see now we've pretty much got it and the frames are right and we can pretty much just drag this about and we can actually get it so it's like playing it at full screen so i think about there is probably about right so let's press enter on our keyboard and now as you can see we can start to move forward and it's going to show us previously what happened in the scenery you can also get it so it shows you know what's going to happen as well um, how it works it kind of like creates like a screenshot of what is previously seen and then you can see it's pretty much in widescreen now this is an NES game so you can't walk back like in the newer games but it still looks pretty cool to play an NES game in widescreen and obviously the quality of this is very good this emulator runs at 100% full speed pretty much any computer as long as you have a you know fairly modern and computer you will be able to play nes games at full speed and um yeah i really like this it's actually pretty cool let me show you guys what it looks like um when you're running full screen and you can see the scenery in front of you as well because that does look quite cool you can also pretty much zoom in as much as you want so you can get like really cool close-ups of the game as well and um, yeah it's actually quite a nice emulator I really like the widescreen effect and as I said they're actually going to be making this for Game Boy as well um, which is going to be pretty crazy um, so there you go now it's in full widescreen mode now that we died and um, this is probably how I like to play it like this it looks really really cool um, so let's just play this game quick I don't want to play too much of this because as you guys know Nintendo really hate my channel so I don't really want to put too much game footage in here because because you know obviously they're just going to take the video down for some stupid reason but yeah pretty cool i really like this emulator make sure to check it out um as you can see sometimes it does kind of glitch a bit um, like what it's doing now but that's because i'm really close to the end of the level i believe so yeah let's just complete the level and um yeah i'll show you what it looks like widescreen on another level as well 
Also, if you guys wanted to close the emulator, you can literally just go down to your taskbar like this and you can pretty much just cross everything off and it will just close out like this. So you can play any games. Um, what we should probably do now, let's test out this because I think this game is probably going to be glitchy. So again, to run any ROM, select it, drag it, drop it onto the shortcut and it will load up just like this. So I wondered what would happen if I used a game which they didn't recommend and it did kind of work I guess but as you can see it's completely glitchy. It's just got my game in the normal screen and as you can see um, what's above is pretty much glitching up. So this is an NES emulator, you can play any NES game. Before the widescreen, Metroid, Mario and Zelda are the games which work the best. So as you can see with this one, Monster in My Pocket, it's just completely glitched up kind of. It's kind of put it into vertical and it's just screwed it up. Also the game itself is a bit glitchy. So yeah, I'd, I wouldn't recommend trying some random NES games because they do not work in widescreen. So yeah guys, I think this is really cool. Um, the only downside is you can't see the enemies um, before they actually reach you. And that is because it's pretty much just capturing the stage before you actually see it. So it's not going to capture in the enemy sprites. It's literally just going to capture in the stage um, of what it previously looked like. So as you can see, the coins that are back here are no longer moving. That is because I'm now past them and it would have captured them. So let me show you what happens if I collect some coins. Um, so like these ones and then move on to the next stage. Um, as you can see, they're not going to display because it basically took kind of like a screenshot of the previous stage and it's not actually going to show them so yeah i think this is really cool anyway playing nes games in widescreen it does actually seem pretty weird but um i actually really like it it's really cool it's definitely one of the best ways to play them and of course this is pretty much like the best graphics you can get for nes games so yeah, that is pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one Yeah.